Before I tell you the actual secret I found on how to get views on your short form content on YouTube, I'm gonna actually tell you first that I posted a lot, and I mean a lot of videos with simply just no views. Like I made a video and I actually gave you some good value, like, wait, let me pull this chair a little back so you can see me better, yeah. So I gave a lot of good value, like, hey, you probably shouldn't sell on logic, you probably shouldn't do this or that or something actually good, but nobody seen that video. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a few things about those videos that actually are the reasons people didn't actually watch them. Now, of course, we have the obvious, which is the hook, which is pretty much the beginning of the video. So this is the start where you say, uh, whatever you say, just to grab people's attention. I really kind of measured this. I, I used to believe that this is actually nonsense. Bullshit doesn't matter. It actually really does. So in my older videos, the hook was, so you probably shouldn't sell based on logic. Well, who is selling? Doesn't, like, not many people on YouTube shorts are actually selling, so it probably wouldn't work. So then you probably should find a way to, the best thing I found is use famous people like Andrew Tate, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, all those guys, they are famous, so people will actually watch your videos more, I can tell you that from experience, they look at my channel, uh, and also another thing is actually just camera quality, but I realized is that most of, I, most of us, I mean, have good cameras, like, you, you have your phone and that phone can record pretty good videos, like, look at this, this video is actually recorded by the selfie camera, and... The main problem you probably face when recording videos on your phone is not the camera, but the lighting. So, the, you record in a dark room, and then, like, the walls look kind of pixely, and that's not because your camera is bad. It is just because, it's just because, I mean, the light, lighting is bad. Like, right here, here is the window, so sun is coming at me, and the footage looks good. And same with my short form stuff, but that's not really... That's not really that big of a deal, kinda a bigger problem is if your sound is messed up. So you probably should sound great in your videos, like, people are more likely to tolerate you uh, looking bad in your videos, like, not you being fat and ugly, but the camera quality. So people are more likely to tolerate that than to tolerate bad sound. Because sound, you're listening to that for the whole video, for the whole 30 seconds, if that's short or if it's long, like, 10 minutes. So you need to make your videos tolerable to watch pretty much. And also another thing, I was pretty politically correct, which was a big mistake. You don't want to be, uh, yeah, so this is actually good, but uh, this is uh, also good. I have no opinion on this. You should have your own stances, say, uh, I believe that Edutate is good because of this and this. I believe that Elon Musk is evil. You get the point. And when I make those videos, I mean, people uh, either say, Oh yeah, I also think uh, Andrew Tate is good, or I don't know, I fucking hate him, he's a human trafficker. And then you get more views, more engagement, and all that. So now I'm going to exactly tell you how to copy my new videos to get more views for yourself on YouTube Shorts. And one main thing you need to keep in mind is, at the first second, or the first few seconds, because I mean, it's always changing because people, I mean, they're just getting more uh, retarded by the day, so you never know. So you need to make the video as engaging as possible, so you need to hyper-edit it. The days of just coming on the camera, putting in, like, here some captions uh, with an emoji down here, like, that's gone. That's, that's bullshit. Nobody's gonna watch any of that. What you need is to make an engaging video with dynamic captions. So a caption pops out like kind of, like here is some word, kind of big at the beginning and then, you know, an animation basically. And also you need some background music to keep the people entertained and you need to be speaking very loudly, like look at how I'm speaking right now. It's probably not the way I speak in the short form videos, but when you look at short form videos I'm borderline screaming, so you need to make them high energy, uh, hyper edited and also kind of trigger people, like make them kind of mad at what, you, what you're saying. So you could say, uh, you basically think of some, uh, somebody famous or some famous topic and say your opinion on it in the most uh, polarizing way. So it might not even be that controversial what you're saying, but you can say it in a controversial way. So what I did is a prime example of this would be 
when I made a video about Angel Tate and I said in the caption Angel Tate is wrong again, which I he is wrong, I just did it for views. And then in the video I said this guy thinks he knows something. And I played the video of Angel Tate saying something I actually agree with and at the end I even said and he actually does so I'm agreeing with him and people still said oh, what, oh how are you hating on Tate when I even wasn't so I get more engagement more views more likes and that's kind of what you can do too but also another thing I'm realizing is another thing you need to keep in mind actually is that you cannot simply just make videos making people angry you actually need to give some good advice in those videos you need to provide some value it could be entertainment or education. Either way, you're winning. And people are gonna be like, oh yeah. And remember actually, this guy made me laugh kinda when I seen his video mocking uh, Mark Zuckerberg. He, he actually said something very funny, so I'm gonna watch his future videos. Uh, even though he's kinda triggering, he makes all of the people mad. I don't care, he, he's kinda funny, so I'm watching. Or maybe Yo, he actually taught me a lot of stuff that I didn't know before. He taught me uh, that coffee is actually pretty good that I, I should not believe in the research telling me uh, that's actually not true. So I kind of like that. Uh, and yeah, he just made my life better. So I'm going to keep watching him. And this is not even the best part, guys. Stay with me here. And then after all of that, people watching you, you can finally do what I'm about to tell you right now. This is the actual genius mastermind plan. Like... All of us should be aspiring to get there. Finally, find a way to actually move those people from short videos to long videos. You could be selling them a private community. And that community, I mean, it could even be free, it could be cheap or it could be really expensive. But this you could do only when you have like a few thousand followers. You get a decent amount of views on every video. And then you could get some people to buy and then... The app you, you should do it with is called School, uh, so you have a free trial of two weeks and in those two weeks your goal should be to get enough people to make a hundred dollars so then you're basically like at zero because that costs you one hundred a month to upkeep that community. So once you get to a hundred then you're basically neutral, you're not losing or gaining money and then after every single do dollar you make after that then that's profit. And that, so you're basically operating a business that cannot be replaced by AI that is on a 90% profit margin. Like that, it cannot be any better than that. And you, and you know what's stealing your profit? The only thing that is stealing it is the transaction fee. So when you transfer that money from the school to Stripe to your bank, and also when you pay pay something, when you pay with that money for something. Yeah, you're kind of losing money there, but you get you're gonna get a lot of money just for being yourself and making good videos. And I think I also forgot to mention you actually need to know some video editing, how to make engaging videos, which is something I know and you could easily learn in like a month of actually trying. Because back when I was learning it, there was pretty much no resources. There was maybe like a video with five thousand views, and that's probably the biggest video out there. So. When I was learning there was no resources, you actually had to learn by doing and now I mean there is all, all sorts of resources how to edit like Alex Mosey, Magazzi, uh, who else, who else, and Ned Jong, something like that, Ned Jong Shola, well that's his name pretty much, uh, Devin Jetto and those people. I'm telling you just be original, take some things from their style and make it yours and then you're pretty much gonna be winning with short form. And now since you made it this far, I might as well give you like an example video. And this is my style, you could probably adjust it to your style based on what you actually want to accomplish, uh, you know, what your niche is and all that. So firstly, I think I kind of scroll on my phone, yeah. You could call it bad and all that, but it kind of works for me, like that's work for me scrolling, believe it or not. And then I find one video, one probably motivational or educational video by somebody big or somebody who is similar to somebody big like there is this guy uh, Austin Dunham if, and if I find some video by him I could make a video about I would say uh, he kinda looks like this UFC fighter John Jones so I would say John Jones wants you to do more push-ups and play his video uh, either whole video or just kinda the most important part and then I would give my commentary on it and yeah that's it 
So me speaking right here about something, and then I play the video, and then I kind of speak a little more. What I actually like about this is that you actually have to edit a lot less because the video you react to is already edited. So most of the video, you have like 50% of the video to edit. Also, I'll put you on more game. The background music I use, I mean for short videos you could do, use literally any song because uh, copyright laws don't really apply to that because it's short videos and also you're not gonna be making any money from them either way and the song I use is Power by Kanye West the instrumental version not, not the actual song so just put that in the background and then remember I have to really specify this you need to be yelling or just speaking very convincingly and when you're filming those videos look at where I'm at Th there is a window right here you cannot see it but trust me there is and it, it's coming at me with sun and also it's early in the morning so the sun is pretty bright so then I have perfect lighting and a perfect place to film like in the background it's very simple nothing nothing too complicated uh, so you need to, uh, to have something similar like you can look at my old videos they were recorded in my room with uh, very poor lighting and sometimes even poor cameras because I simply wasn't aware of the power my phone had so this really if you watch this video uh, the whole way to right here then you probably know things I didn't at the beginning and if you will apply this knowledge and work with it for one month or maybe even a few months if you do that for a few months then you're definitely gonna master video editing going viral and all that faster than me and bonus points if you are a native English speaker then it's gonna be a lot easier for you so make sure to like the video uh, check out the description to join my private community now it's not something I'm selling you it's it's actually free for now but yeah join that uh, like the video subscribe to the channel watch uh, here on the screen here somewhere uh, maybe here maybe here there is like a video also you could watch a really good educational video I strongly recommend it, I actually put it there myself, subscribe to the channel and yeah, see you in the next one.